Hello, I'm Lieutenant Carol Ellis from NDIT Police Department. This is Sergeant Mark Sear, who are both first aid, CPR, and defibrillator instructors with our department. Um, we certify our police officers every two years. That's how long their certification is good for. And we will be doing a demonstration for CPR for approximately one minute. All right. For training purposes, we use our mannequins. And the first thing we do is we do an assessment to test to see if the person's breathing or for consciousness. We do what's called a look, listen, and feel. So first we're going to say, are you okay? Are you okay? Can you hear me? Nothing happens. We get no response. We do a head tilt. We do a chin lift. And we look, listen, and feel for breath. And we look at the chest to see if there's any rising in the chest. If nothing is there, we give two breaths. We use a back valve mask. We tilt the, we tilt the head back. We give two breaths. And we go right into compressions. We do 30 compressions to two breaths for approximately one minute. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Then two breaths. Back into 30 compressions. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Two breaths. And 30 compressions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Then two breaths. Two breaths. So after you do your 30 compressions, two breaths for about one minute, you do another assessment, a look, listen, and feel. If there still is no, no breath, no circulation, compressions and breaths continue until you're relieved by somebody of greater skill than you, or we can now switch. If the lieutenant's getting tired, I can take over compressions, she can take over breaths. We continue until the EMTs arrive and a transport to a hospital can be accomplished.